Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. With that being said, I hope that you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the world. So the last week or so has been a roller coaster ride in crypto, and I wouldn't have it any other way. As we look at XRP, there was an article recently posted about XRP skyrocketing 80% in volume amid a $400 million crypto blood, uh, bloodbath. Now, this is just trading volume of XRP. It could be selling and also buying volume. It didn't really amount to much price action at all. In fact, XRP right now, I think, is trading around roughly $0.60. Cents. Um, but the overall value of the uh, volume of XRP was sitting at about roughly $4 billion. Now, like I said... It doesn't really matter. XRP wasn't pumping or anything like that, but it still did have a lot of volume tied into it. And this is what the uh, price action looked like at that time. Um, but regardless, right, one of the biggest things to take away from all of this right now is I see a lot of frustration around XRP. I see a lot of frustration around a lot of altcoins. Now, addressing this and talking a little bit about it, I put out a few uh, posts regarding this. So first off, I want to quote um, this post by myself. So I was actually quoting uh, Tere Corton over on X. And I said, this is actually an incredible insight into what I have been noticing this cycle. I mean, we legit have names like BlackRock, Franklin Templeton, etc. all jumping in heavy. This is happening at the same time that the majority of retail doesn't care. This is one of the strangest cycles for sure. Let's see what the next few weeks and months ahead are like for crypto. Now, I'm going to give it to you guys straight. When we're talking about XRP or any major, you know, altcoin in the space, they barely moved. Outside of gaming, AI, meme coins, there hasn't been much movement around altcoins. But this post from uh, Tere actually is quite interesting. We have, this is the weirdest of cycles, man. It's like euphoria is here, but at the same time, we're all dead inside. Your friends don't really care yet, despite Bitcoin printing new all-time highs, it doesn't even seem like many besides legacy crypto holders chase the train up. And, you know, this is something that I've been talking about for a while, right? Like, if you actually look at this cycle, where's everyone at? This space is pretty much dead. It feels as though we are in a bear market now more than it did feel back in 2023, if I'm being completely honest with all of you. But we have, can we really classify this as a bull run when only majors have done anything good and sectors like AI, gaming have pumped? It's never a true bull run until everything you touch turns to gold and your noob friends think it's easy. We certainly don't have that yet. And this is another thing, right? Bull runs are easy mode. What do I really mean by that? Well, everyone will look like they are um, a pro. It, it, they will literally be touching altcoins and saying, look it. Buy right now, people will make money. They'll look like they are the you know best uh, be best predictor in the space. They, they, all they have to do is throw lines on a chart, and that's it. The market will swing to the upside because we are in a bull run. Everyone will look like they are an expert at what they are trying to talk about. But we know that that is not the case. Remember, back in 2021, you had TikTokers going crazy all over TikTok, all over YouTube, everything, because it's so easy to talk about these projects when they are going up, you know, 300, 500, 1000 percent. And we're talking about in days and even weeks. And we're talking about major altcoins. We're not, you know, addressing meme coins or anything like that. But regardless, right, we're not in that cycle yet. We're not in easy mode. Some alts are up several hundreds of percentages, yet that's only because of how low they went. Despite this, most have barely managed to reclaim 20 to 40% of their recovery from all-time highs crashes. And this is something to address when it comes to XRP. Everyone's looking at XRP and saying, why the hell isn't XRP moving? There has to be something wrong with XRP. There has to be something wrong with HBAR. There has to be something wrong with Casper. There has to be something wrong with all these altcoins, right? Oh, utility is the biggest scam. I should have jumped into meme coins. That's what everything is making you feel like right now. But if you take a step back, meme coins are pumping because they are fresh coins and they're low liquidity trash. If we look at legitimate altcoins and most of the biggest winners from last cycle and even some of the newer projects, they barely moved. 
I think ults and memes will play a significant role in the stupidity and bringing a true retail interest back. Normies got wrecked on everything in 2021. Ults and memes have the potential to bring their gambling interest back. Will they trickle through de uh, decentralized exchanges? Doubt it. Pay attention to new tech and wallets that allow them to easily navigate multi-chain assets beginner friendly stuff more memes on centralized exchanges will also help the closest thing to this current circumstance was 2019 where bitcoin rallied alts were crippled on occasional few sectors rallies uh randomly bitcoin then topped and crippled alts further black swan covid where a new super cycle then started cyber attack blackout the having mining all potential candidates for the next swan excuse and diversion as i said once etfs come you're going to see the space maturity much quicker. Uh, war on self-custody has started. Suddenly, the SEC have put Ethereum in the spotlight. Regulatory enforcements are not deployed without sufficient justification. Therefore, what better justification than the most stupendous cycle ever of absolute parabolic stupidity where memes in particular have the potential entice the dumb money back in and eventually leave them wrecked holding the bag again. Oh, and a bunch of dumb money slaughtered with meme coins, especially that uh, deter from the true purpose of crypto's utility equals insert regulations, insert reset, insert utility run. If what's happened so far hasn't been enough to truly bring the normies back in, then something even bigger must be brewing to make that a reality. A cheeky crash, correction, black swan, or anything remotely negative beforehand shouldn't make you scared. It should have you bricked up. We know 99% of the coins in this market are garbage, but more than enough with working teams and projects have yet to play any form of catch up. So unless they're all going to die, that means they still have upside outstanding. That means any downside is temporary. Only difference now is Bitcoin is already at new all-time highs before the halving and hasn't dropped yet. ETF plus halving potentially pricing in. Bullish PA going into bullish news is always something to consider. The next major Bitcoin pullback should be 30% or 40% if from around here. That should confirm profits are taken. That should confirm profit rotation next. It's all weird. Let's see. Exciting though. And yes, one of the weirdest cycles, but really something to take away from all of this is retail isn't back yet. And this has been something that I've been talking about for a while, right? I even said recently on April 2nd, I said, what, are, what have been the largest gainers for the last 30 days or so? I'll answer the question. It's been rinsing and repeating illiquid trash coins back and forth. Most of the gains made in the past month or so are all based on low volume trash. No, we are not in alt season. No, the market hasn't topped. And no, this isn't the end of the cycle. The real fun didn't even start, especially for old coins. Remain calm and remain patient. Stop playing into the ridiculous engagement farming bearish post saying the same thing. I saw a post today that said, breaking Bitcoin down 5% as if 5% is a major move in an extremely volatile market. It's crazy to me how much the retail sector overreacts to some of these pullbacks. Tell me when we are doing 20 plus percent uh, pullbacks. And again, just to reiterate what we are seeing over here, it's the same exact thought process where most of the gains, they, they, it's not even all coins. It's not legitimate projects at all. In fact, it's not even the big projects outside of XRP, HBAR, QNT, all of them, right? Even the projects that have a lot of hype behind them have barely moved. Everyone saw Solana going crazy and they're like, oh, well, that should be XRP. Why is it XRP doing that? I'm done with XRP. I'm jumping into Solana. Because again, everyone is so, they, everyone at this point, they're missing the green candles. They want the green can candles so bad. They're itching for the green candles. But guess what? When you don't get those green candles, once you start to see something, it could be anything moving rapidly, they chase it. It's a dopamine spike for them. That's why I always say, leave your emotions at the front door if you are entering this market. Because if you bring them with you, nine times out of 10, you are going to get wrecked. When we look at where we are at right now in this cycle, this post from March 8th is a perfect example of it, right? I said, the fun is just beginning. And this was crypto, search, uh, search uh, term interest over time from Google Trends. I said, when we really look at this, right? The space is changing. Things are a bit different. But regardless, right? This is what we have been preparing for. And altcoins are looking really good even now. They weren't pumping or anything. 
But I said, give it a few weeks. Majority are not ready for what's coming. And when we think about this, right, look at where we are at right now, right? This was crypto on March 4th. Again, there wasn't much change here except a little bit of an increased spike to the upside. Crypto right now is doing this. Look at this. Interest is pretty much dead. The middle of March or even just like the little bit of the beginning of March, that was it. This is the interest is already back down to midline or even below midline. But this is kind of the same exact thing that happened when we started to initially pump back in 2021. We started to drop. And then guess what? The next month or so, it was upward. But most of the Google trends like this all look the same, except a few. Cryptocurrencies, for an example, worldwide, basically dead. I mean, this is flatlined. Um, Bitcoin, again, kind of just ranging sideways, tapped the midline, rejected off of it. We're, we're kind of just sitting here. Um, all coins, all coins also losing a lot of interest. Again, most people are not even interested in uh, crypto right now. And it shows from these Google Trends, but also shout out to Anderson, Google Trends, buy Bitcoin. That's what this is. Just buy Bitcoin. It's basically dead. Nobody cares. No, nobody's even looking at crypto at this point. Like, it's insane to me that when we really look at what's going on around this space, interest is barely at all time highs. Retail is barely here. Again, we can clearly see this by just the amount of engagement that's happening around this space, the amount of people that are around this space. I mean, mainstream media, they have been talking, but the main thing that they've been talking about is Bitcoin ETFs. That's it. Again, I really think that as we look at this space, right, the herd has started to slowly come back, but they're not, it's not even close to 2021. It's not even close to where we were at. So we have a lot more left in store. And I really do think that all coins, especially even XRP and a lot of those utility projects, everyone is talking down on them, but they're talking down on these altcoins at a time where most of the altcoin market has barely moved. And by the way, talking about Bitcoin ETFs, it was the talk all day long yesterday. Everyone was like, what, what happened? Well, here you have trading volume. IPIT, 1.27 billion. F, uh, Bitcoin, Fidelity, 670 million. Grayscale, 611 million. ARC, 129 uh, million. BIP, 71 million. Again, today, today's inflows will be interesting. Bitcoin was down 7% and trading volume was lighter than expected. Will Grayscale Bitcoin post another $300 million plus outflow? Uh, will we have another net negative day? And after the day fully ended, this is basically what ended up happening. So inflows as of right now, 16 and needed for positive day. Um, this is the final inflows of 42 of plus 40 million and 609 Bitcoin with BlackRock purchasing over 2,278 Bitcoin. We actually scroll up, we can see uh, Bitcoin's overall inflow. It was 2,278 Bitcoin, $150 million dollars. BlackRock's iBit bought the dip today. Um, and again, it just shows you that there's still a lot of interest here, even on the downward moves on Bitcoin, which will ultimately lead to upward trajectory. But at the end of the day, as we really look at this space, everyone's focused on the Bitcoin ETF nonsense still. And that's like the only thing that's really kind of provided any substance of, you know, hype. Meme coins definitely have been, you know, pushing the narrative. If I actually look up meme coins, so actually, let me uh, space this out real quick. So here's meme coins. It's not even a, a term on here. Let me see if um, if there's anything like the past 30 days. So here we have the past 30 days. Let me go to the past 12 months. Maybe this will. Yeah, so there's no data even on this. I wish that this had some insight on it. It, it would be very good to know. Um, but even on the 90 day spend, you can kind of see that this was hitting some pretty high uh, figures on March 4th, which was right when meme coins start to go crazy. But for the most part, like, again, interest around the space just really isn't there which is the number one thing that I've been fully focused on while everyone has been giving up on their altcoins, have been you know, becoming extremely disgruntled, impatient. They, they want to jump into something that's actually green. 
they want to you know jump into something other than xrp or anything that hasn't moved much but remember right like this post here where we're talking about how most of these altcoins that are up several hundreds of percentages look at how far they are down from their all-time highs again that's that, that's the number one thing to focus on what altcoins are actually making new all-time highs which ones are going to the into price discovery the answer is none of them and if there is a few of them it's because their all-time highs to where they are at right now was pretty much barely a movement down to the downside or it's a very hyped up project in the ai or gaming scene or it's a meme coin the number one thing to really focus on is we're not there yet in terms of alt season. So if you're getting impatient right now, I'm telling you guys, please remain calm. Step away from the from the market for a day or two or so. And just kind of bring your back bring yourselves back down to the starting point. Because again, now is not the time to mess things up. This pullback that everyone is overreacting to. In my opinion, this is just a very small move in a much larger expanded move. So with that being set up, like guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on because more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, this has been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.